Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of Dr. Kraken Code. In this video, I'm going to compare data types, data structures, abstract data types. These are the concepts that um, the software engineer who just started out may be confused when they learn data structures and algorithms. Okay, so first let's understand data types. Data types are defined as the sets of values and operations on those values. For example, we have numbers, characters, strings, booleans. When we talk about data types, these are normally being referred to as primitive data types, like uh, integers, floating point numbers, uh, strings, booleans. For, take, for example, the integers, um, it may uh, indicate that the potential values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, so on and so forth. And the operation that we have on these values are normally uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So as you can see over here, I have uh, the illustration here showing the potential uh, operations that you may have on a set of integers, numbers. So that's what we often refer to as data types. So what are data structures? Data structure are the collection of data, normally of uh, similar primitive data types in computer memory for efficient organization management and access. So when we talk about data structure, we want to uh, discuss the grouping of uh, multiple data uh, points into a collection so that we can store it efficiently in computer memory and also make it very easy for us to organize manage and access these values. When we talk about data structure, we want to refer to as uh, to them as the representation of data with concrete implementation. So it's not arbitrary uh, concept uh, or concept to abstract. Uh, it's actually mentioning the clear way you actually store these data in the memory. Take for example, we have array and linked list are two common data structures. The first one is array, I illustrate here. Arrays are stored in memory, in computer memory as a chunk of memory continuously. For example, in this array, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. These eight elements are continuously store in a block of memory inside the computer memory. Another one, another example of data structure are linked list. Also, again, there's a concrete implementation are provided here. Um, linked list include multiple nodes. Each node has the value and the pointer the pointer is pointing to the next node. And there's a pointer pointing to the first node, obviously, so that you can have uh, the starting point for the uh, linked list. So different from arrays, linked list have a bit more flexibility in terms of how these memory blocks are allocated in the computer memory. They can be in different locations, However, we have this link to, you know, to precisely pointing to where the next node is. So let's go back to the data structure definition here. Yes, we need to have a concrete implementation. Uh, we have a clear way to actually store these values, the data inside the computer memories. Okay. So on the other hand, when we talk about abstract data types, 
we normally refer to these as theoretical concepts for data types based on their behaviors, characteristics, and operations. These are only at the abstract level. There are no concrete implementation. No concrete implementation are determined. Multiple specific data type, data structure can be used to implement the same ADT. So when we talk about ADT, we only talk about the mathematical model, the theoretical concept of the expected behavior and operation on a set um, on, on a set of values. We don't need to provide clear and concrete implementation for all these um, operation and behaviors. Because for the same description or for the same IDT, we can use multiple different data structures to implement them. We have some um, popular IDTs like stacks, queue, graphs, and trees. For example, stack, stack can be implemented by either arrays and linked lists. And the way we uh, implement uh, these stacks um, are, di are different uh, depending on whether the data structure you use uh, are arrays or linked lists. And you also, but th there's one thing in common, no matter whether you use array or linked list, if you implement a stack IDT, you have to implement some certain set of operations, for example, push and pop. So these are the two operations that are expected for stack. And no matter whether you use array or linked list as the base for implementing stack IDT, you still need to implement the push and pops um, um, operations. However, depending on whether it's array or linked list as the base, the push implementation or the pop implementation is going to be different. So no, for IDTs, no uh, specific implementation are determined until you actually implement uh, using a, a particular data structure. So the, let's have a look at the two common um, IDTs here in comparison. In comparison, we have stack and queue. Stack, you can imagine is like a stack of book. You put um, you 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 push one book on top of another book. So when you want to take out the data, the element, you have to take the one on the top, right? On the top of the stack of book. So it's got, when you do the pop uh, operation, it's actually will just pop the the last one on the top out. So for stack, uh, it implement the procedure leave for last in first out, last in first out. On the other hand, for queue, uh, you imagine it's like a pipe. There's uh, some elements or some items being pushed into the pipe. The items that going in first will need to go out first. So for queue, it's fee for first in first out, and the two operation. Uh, to interact with the elements are in queue and DQ. For in queue, you push in the element into the queue. DQ, you take the the oldest element out of the queue. So as you can see over here, um, there's the behaviors and the operation are described for this particular ADT. However, no concrete implementation are provided until you actually apply one of the data structure, for example, arrays or linked list uh, to implement the queue, then you can um, talk about the actual implementation of these operations. And obviously, depending on whether you use array or linked list to implement queue, the in queue, the actual implementation of the in queue method will be different. However, the overall idea or the overall, overall expected behavior is going to be the same, uh, pushing the item into the queue. So I hope uh, with my explanation, you understand better the differences between data types, data structure, and abstract data types. If you think these type of uh, contents are useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel to make it easier for you to see the future uh, videos from me.
thank you very much uh, for coming and thank you very much for being part of the card can code community let's learn together see you in the next video goodbye